now we will uh, solve the hexagonal problem on a beta angle so first two positions are already uh, drawn now we will proceed with the beta angle you just see the question a hexagonal lamina of dimension 25 rests on one of its own corners on hp so we have drawn the first position the lamina makes 45 degree to hp so we have drawn the second position you see it now you can see the question in the corner they mentioned diagonal passing through the corner that is inclined to 30 degree to vp so now we are going to show how the beta angle here okay so before further uh, we will be drawing a diagonal here okay this is what the first diagonal and this is our second diagonal so i will be writing this fc1 and this is fc now i am drawing and first i will take a reference point here reference point okay and now i will be marking at an angle of 30 so that's what the inclination to 30 30 degree okay so now i'll be taking a reference of uh, okay a reference here f f i have taken now first arc so this is what the first diagonal line we have to consider this is what the second so first we have to consider fc1 okay you know with the bit angle concept first this length we have to consider fc1 we are cutting the arc okay so after cutting the arc so to this point directly to this point we have to draw and locus okay so this is locus of this is c1 locus of c okay after this uh, the second arc length we have to cut that is this one fc okay fc we have to measure and we have to cut on this locus line this is your fc okay now we have to join this uh, fc line and then extend it okay extend it to get the beta angle so how much beta angle will get it here so we have to get uh, so we are getting it around 44 or 45 degree so it will be okay no problem we have this length now we have to transfer this diagram over here we have the fc length okay so first I will be measuring this Fe. So this Fe length, okay, see this Fe length is exactly equal to your Fe. Okay. So we can cut two arcs here, here and here. Okay, two arcs. Similarly, we have Fd. This Fd is exactly equal to this Fe length. Yeah, sorry, Cd. Cd and Cb. So four arcs we have cut now the reverse one arc length it is exactly equal to c fd it is exactly equal to your fb similarly so this fd fb is exactly equal to fe and fa so that means measuring one length we can cut the four arcs okay here this arc and this arc so now this arc is not cutting so this is fe So now understood right the initial arc from Fe is equal to Fa so that is exactly equal to Cd and Cb four arcs we have cut it then after that reverse we have cut it that is Fd exactly equal to Fb similarly Fd, Fb exactly equal to Ce and Cb that's what we cut it 1, 2, 3 and 4 so after cutting the arcs we have to name it so this is E this is d this is u this is b so now we'll join this okay so now we have to extend this yeah. So 
a and a dash so it is uh, merging here okay similarly we will see for b so where the b is so here we have the b okay so initially we have marked for a dash this is b dash similarly series c this is c dash similarly we have we have So now we will join it. So this is what the final function. So understood, right? So first diagonal length will be cut at F C one then locus line then fc so we have to cut the arc then connect and then extend you get the beta angle then transfer the diagram using arc method in the final position